Hey guys, so I'm going to make my classic vegetable soup. Um, I have a bunch of things that I need to get used up in my refrigerator and I'm just gonna make a quick video for you so you can also throw it together at home. This is so light and so healthy and you can totally add animal protein if you wanted to or just keep it as a plain vegetable soup. Um, I do usually have cabbage, so if you wanna call it cabbage soup, that's cool, but these are my basic ingredients, and this is how I do it. I used a bundle of rainbow carrots. I just like the color, um, but you could definitely just use regular orange carrots as well. I just cut off the ends and then any carrots that are thicker in size, I will cut in half or in quarters so that everything ends up to be about the same size of a chop and that way everything will cook much more similarly in a, the same time frame when it's simmering on your stove. Next I added some yellow squash and zucchini and uh, you can see mine were getting a little bit old so I this is why I wanted to make my veggie soup. Um, you can definitely just cut off the brown spots if you need to but I cut them just like my carrots so that they're all about the same size. So this size. is my pot that I'm using. It's from our place. I just love it. And I, all I have in here, you guys, is a little bit of water at the bottom. And I need to start seasoning this before I add any more vegetables because you can see they've already become, come up higher than the level of liquid in the bottom of the pot. So it's the onions and the celery, carrots, zucchini, yellow squash so far. And now we're just gonna start adding some seasoning and I'll start adding in my veggie broth as well. So you can water saute everything if you want or broth saute. If you wanted to start your base with the onions, carrots, garlic, celery with a little bit of avocado oil or something like that, you definitely could. I just tend to omit the oil as often as possible. So I just start adding my basic seasonings, which are dried oregano, dried garlic, and then I use either real salt or um, pink Himalayan sea salt. And every time I add a vegetable or come back to check on it, I'll make sure that it's tasting well and I don't need to add any more seasoning and then stir everything. So once I have all those base vegetables cooking and starting to simmer, then I'll chop and add my cabbage. You can do green, you can do red or purple, whatever you wanna call it. And I just slice it into thin strips. And then here's my garlic again. I keep my garlic whole cloves in the freezer, so I had to let them thaw out a little bit before I chopped them up. So all of that gets added in next, and then um, a little bit more seasonings again all the way through. Now once I have everything in my pot, I added more oregano, garlic powder, and salt, and then fresh chopped parsley. I don't put fresh herbs in until the end, and then I do add more at the end. And then I add a container of low sodium organic vegetable stock. And depending if you use water or not at the beginning, you might need more or less than this. And I just use lots of vegetables because I figure I might as well make a lot. And with this pan, you have to leave the heat at the highest at medium. So that's as high as I go and then let it come to a boil from that specific temperature. 
This is one of my secret tricks to make the soup have like a really nice depth of flavor. I use a vegetable stock or a vegetable base. This is just an organic better than bouillon jar. And sometimes I get the mushroom flavor as well and I'll just take a big spoonful. And once I have everything in like we've done so far, I'll put that into the vegetables, into the broth and stir it together. And it will just disintegrate and you know, melt into the soup as it starts cooking and then just check your seasonings again to see if you need to add anything else. The last thing I add is two cans of organic stewed tomatoes. So this is the butternut squash that I used. It's actually from my dad's garden. I just cook it face down in water and then I scoop the seeds out when it's cooked, it's so much easier. Um, but this is what makes my vegetable soup extra savory and rich. And you can put in as much or little as you want, obviously, um, but it does just kind of bring up more of a sweetness to the soup and this one is really, really big, right? But um, if you had a small squash, you might put the whole thing in or if you had some leftovers, just whatever you want. But try this trick because it will really enhance the soup flavor.